in a nutshell, the key takeaway is that IT large cap companies have beaten low expectations. Expectations were running low due to seasonality, weak macros, the cut in discretionary spendings. But the companies actually did fairly well, despite it being a difficult quarter. All four IT companies have reported a beat compared to what the street was anticipating. HCL Tech leads the pack with a 6% top-line growth, aided by a large deal ramp-up and an acquisition. TCS reported a 1% revenue growth versus estimates of no growth. For Infi and Wipro, this quarter we've seen a revenue contraction, but not as much as what the street feared. The margin performance has also been strong. Three out of the four companies have reported a margin beat. TCS, Wipro and HCL Tech. For TCS in particular, margins have expanded for the second consecutive quarter uh, and coming in improving by nearly 70 basis points on a quarter-on-quarter -quarter basis. Wipro has managed to hold margins at around that 16% band despite a wage hike impact and HCL Tech. That's clocked in a solid margin expansion of 130 basis points at 19.7%. Now moving on to the guidance. No surprises here. Both HCL Tech and Infosys have narrowed their full year growth forecast, which means Infosys is now likely to end with about uh, you know, 1.5 to 2% uh, revenue growth for the full year, while for HCL Tech, the upper end of the guidance band from 6% was brought down by 50 basis points, and the company is going to see a 5 to 5.5% revenue growth. The other noteworthy highlights include, and there are four key ones over here. One, the deal wins have been steady. Um, you have to account for the seasonality, but broadly you would say deal wins are steady. Attrition for most companies are now at a multi-year low. Sectors where we have seen pressure, and this is a continuation of the weakness, is financials, communication, and high tech, while manufacturing growth continued to clock good growth. It's also been a good start to the company, a good start to the year for most of the IT companies, with companies rallying anywhere between 5 to 10% since the beginning of 2024, taking their one-year rally to almost 45-50% for the likes of HCL Tech. But the question from here now is on valuation. So I'm going to leave you with the valuation table, and this is forward valuation, FY25PE. Now here, the most noteworthy thing is, after HCL Tech's outperformance uh, in the last one year, its valuations are coming very close to that of Infosys. These are Kotak's estimates. So HCL Tech is at 24 times forward multiple, while Infi is at 25 times forward multiple. And these companies are likely to report an EPS growth of about 10 to 11%. Large cap IT companies seem to have done their bit in terms of helping the Q3 earnings season, but now it's over to the mid cap IT companies. Will they continue with the good work? Bookings of Capco over the last quarter, which indeed has been uh, the strongest of the last three, four quarters. And so I think we take it as a positive sign. Um, talking to some of our clients, talking to the teams, there's also a perception of, you know, Pipeline coming back, a little bit of discretionary spend coming back, and so let's see how things are going, but certainly we see green shoots is what I would say. Solid outperformance uh, by our software division, uh, which clocked a solid 5% year-on-year growth. On a sequential basis, it appears as a 32% growth, but that's the seasonality, and 5% year-on-year is the right way to look at it, and uh, that itself is a good number. Uh, the second one was, uh, you know, the mega deal that we had announced in the previous quarter, uh, 10th of August to be precise, and uh, that deal ramped up on schedule from 1st of November and therefore contributed two months uh, in this uh, December quarter.